So this is why I've stopped watching Anonymous because, you know, they're not helping. Neither are uh, his took Well, so I think Tucker means well and Tucker is trying to help, but like a lot of the groups, he's putting misinformation and false information out there so no one can really help themselves um, because everyone is scrambling and they don't actually know what they're talking about. In the First Amendment, the freedom of press is synonymous with freedom of speech and an extension of freedom of speech now in the english law it was free speech in connection with political matters um in parliament but also in your own home and in meetings if it was in connection with political matters and parliament remonstrations, petitions. That's the reason why it's in the First Amendment in the first section with petitioning and speaking and the press and the religion together. Mainly religion as well because of all the uh, um, persecutions to do with religion um, and people were trying to... Uh, sort it out politically now i agree that america seems to have made it a national thing for freedom of speech um and the press where it's not necessarily has to be political matters but the freedom of press is that the freedom to be able to print and access the press and materials or you wouldn't have a press if you couldn't access the materials and if they wouldn't let you print anything or publish anything, then there wouldn't be a freedom of press. It's like the freedom to walk, basically, you know. Now, the thing is that the newspapers are merely a company, right, who provide a service, right? If you want to get on a plane, you go on holiday. If you want to rent a car out, you drive it where you want. If you want to put something in a newspaper, you print it in the newspaper, right? If you're not allowed to rent a car out, there's no freedom of cars. If you're not allowed to get on a plane, not saying that I advocate planes flying everywhere all the time, but you've got the freedom to access... They're not, it's not for the privileged. You know, they start doing cheap flights for poor people to Lanzarote or whatever, right? Um, they don't say only women can fly on planes. They don't say that only um, dogs can fly on planes. They don't say you can fly on a plane without any luggage. No, anyone can fly on a plane. Anyone can use the newspaper, right? Now, the newspaper needs stories, right? Just like the police need crime. Now, if you've got a story, if an, an event or an incident happens... You go tell a newspaper, right? Like the, if there's a crime and someone steals a ham sandwich or kicks you in the teeth, then you go tell the police, right? Now, the police do a little bit of their own investigation work, right? They, you know, now they plant speed cameras everywhere or they um, set up, um, you know, uh, undercover drugs rings. They, they go looking for crimes, right? Actually, it says that no sheriff shall warrant more uh, crimes. That, uh, sheriff shall not um, take on more crimes than he has warrant for or that have been reported, right? But but it, they hadn't settled for just people coming to the desk at the police station and reporting a crime, right? You know, uh, it's like home bargains, you know, coming, you know, we're open for business. Like, turn the sign on the police station, says we're open for business. Come in, what can I do for you, right? Or pick up the telephone, dial 999, right? Now, this is the problem with the newspaper, right? They aren't satisfied now with people, you know, open for business. It's the newspaper, the, you know, ring, ring them up. Now, there is no phone number, you can't ring them up, Right? Uh, upset for the council who's got the commis police commissioner Gordon bat phone straight in there. Ooh, anything at the council happens, they, they, they've got the bat phone to the um, newspaper, right? In the newspaper office, actually, you could go in there, sit down, you know, press the bell, the, the reporter comes out, ooh, take down a story, right? They get the stories from us, right? Us, us. 
Without us, there are no stories. We bring stories, right? We report crimes, right? Open for business. They get people by the newspaper to hear the stories. And, and they also have a section where you have the right to place a public notice. Why? Because people want to know what's happening, right? That's why they buy it. Oh, buy that. I want to know what's happening. What stories happened? What events happened, right? Now, when the newspapers get taken over by Blackrock Vanguard and Rockefeller and um, uh, Mad Murdoch and the other people, we gradually get muscled out of the newspaper. We gradually get pushed out and then they take it over. And then, oh no, we'll go after the stories. We don't need the public. Well, we need the pub. We need things to happen. We need things to happen. Things have got to happen. But don't come to us. We'll come to you. In fact, you know who knows Rockefeller, and uh, they might be causing things to happen. You know, somebody might be setting these things up, staging them. The Truman Show, right? Now the problem is that they crank the prices up on the adverts so no one can afford them. No one can afford them, right? And then they get their best pals who are, oh, look, it's Boris Johnson. We'll give him a, a column in there. He can write some stories, you know. Um, even though he's the Prime Minister of England and serving as Prime Minister, we wouldn't want him to affect the electors, would we? You know, because that would be unfair. You know, if he's affecting the electors, because he might be influencing them, influencing them through his newspaper column in some way, shape or form identifiable, Right? We wouldn't want him to be using the um, newspapers to his electoral advantage or to his party's electoral advantage, would we now, right? But no, they've taken over. Don't worry. You know, doesn't matter if there are any stories to report or any incidents. We'll, don't, doesn't worry if you start a short, st short of stories. We'll cause them. We'll cause the stories and, and we can even conjure them up. We can make them up. We'll write them. You know? You know, when you're sick of the hockey match or uh, results or, you know, someone trips over a paperclip or whatever, right? Now, they've cranked the prices up on the adverts and then not only have they changed the free ads or the, um, you know, book, book of public notice, when you go into that, the, the, you can't put a, what you a public notice, something that needs to be given notice to the public. You know, I lost my coat in the bus station, or I'm doing a petition. What's happening? We're doing a charity sale um, for help the aged in the garage, right? Um, no, they insert a new framework, which is for dumb people. Um, and when you actually log in and sign on, you can have a birth, a funeral, or a university graduation, right? Um, commiserations, deaths, right? It's a scam, dum dum, retard, new um, facility for stupid people, right? Because what they actually did is... Closed for business in public notices. They effectively closed shop, closed the shutters, put closed, and drew a kid's sketch, a dummy's um, uh, Punch and Judy show of a public notices, like uh, a false, um, fake, um, you know, um, charade of a setup. In its place, a scam, a trick, a con. So it looks like there's public notices. It's like being given a toy gun. Like, oh, it's not a real gun. It's just plastic. You know, it fires like sucker darts or something, right? Uh, and and little pig people didn't realise they've been scammed. And then even though newspapers are tax-free, oh, you're not taxed on books. You're not taxed on magazines. You're not taxed on newspapers. You don't pay tax on them, right? So why is it? When I go to get a advertisement, a small advertisement printed, 10,000 prints, please, of this advert in your newspaper. That's what it is, a tax-free newspaper, right? So why are the London Evening Standard and Trinity Mirror and Mad Murdoch and Jeff Bezos 
charging us tax on it. Why? I'm not claiming it back later because for petitions, it's illegal to be held to a commitment. Criminal. I don't pay money illegally to claim it back from Parliament later. Right? Because then I've given an illegal payment and the newspaper have taken a criminal money and are laundering it to government illegally, whether or not I claim it back afterwards. If Parliament even gave you an option to claim back for small petitions that were um, below a certain turnover every year, even though the Petitions Committee is supposed to sort it out for you, right? That's the problem. So why are they collecting in revenue to government for tax, which is illegal money? Like when you go to the lawyer, oh, we got to sign a money laundering form, right? So no one can afford the adverts. And then they just make the prices up each time you do it anyway. Just conjure it up from nowhere. You know, how much is it? Well, depends who you are, you know. Um, we've been bullied, pushed shoulder barged out of the newspaper and then all these nice local reporters they have a, a local reporter here a local reporter there a local reporter there ring them up on the telephone get them to come round tell them a story take a photograph no they're all sacked gone sacked because now you ring the phone Doo! don't call us we'll call you right send an email no reply right don't worry, the newspaper takes care of the newspaper's business, right? You know, don't, don't phone us, we'll phone you, you know, or we've got, you know, X number of councillors with a bat phone in there and it gets, you know, sent, you know, telepathically through Professor X, you know, straight there immediately, you know, within an hour, right? Whether we really want to know what's going on and even though it's the not the truth. The... All of the other laws that apply in business apply to the press. It's a business, a company, right? What is this free press? You can print what you want. All oh, right, well, here is an accountant. Oh, hello. Can you do my accounts for me? Of course I can. Oh, just a minute. Oh, you did these accounts for me last week. They don't seem to add up. Well, it's just a story. You know, it doesn't have to add up, does it? Well, actually, it does have to add up because that's fraud. Well, it's a creative accountant, you know. I'm giving you an account of something, a fact, you know. So, well, it's slightly bending the truth a little bit. Well, you bent the truth a lot because, you know, it's meant to say £10,000, but it only says £1.10p. Right? Well, a man, a man walked down the Johnson Street, uh, got hit by a cart, and then, you know, run over by a donkey. Well, here it says that he ran down Johnson Street, and then um, he um, just missed getting run over by a cart, and uh, the donkey shit on his head. You know, well, it's a bit creative license, isn't it? Bollocks! Bollocks! These people are living in fantasy land, like Boris Johnson. Oh, you know, uh, I'm not a criminal. I haven't committed any crimes. I'm just carry on voting as usual, even though I, I have the right to vote because I broke the law, even though I've been published illegally, you know, for the last, you know, since I was prime minister, you know. Um, understand, understand. And now they'll say, oh, well, it doesn't matter because now we've given you Facebook. Now we've given you social media. Now you can just go into his Facebook group with uh, 100,000 people and, you know, slap it silly. You know, you don't need to uh, go to a newspaper to publish anything. You can just slap it in a Facebook group and, you know, um, hope someone notices it. Yet the newspaper makes it official still. Regarded as the standard, must be published in at least one newspaper for legal purposes. The London Gazette. Oh, I've got a petition here. I'd like to put it in the London Gazette. Oh, we don't put petitions in. Bollocks! Why are the petitions in when I look through the history archives then? 
you know, well, we don't want to make it official because then it'll have to be recognised as being official and then you officially did it. Well, Boris Johnson officially was Prime Minister of England with his own newspaper column influencing electors. But he doesn't want to creatively interpret as that. You know, the donkey missed the car or the ship missed the fucking wall, right? When it's clearly plastered over the wall in big letters, Boris Johnson was here, right? These people need um, locking down. They need getting in the corner and they need a, a lawyer. God knows what lawyer it's going to be. Someone needs to get a big car of money out and put it down in front of some lawyer, any lawyer, can they be bought, can they be sold, whose side are they on, are they retarded, do they know the law, are they working for are the five boroughs of London and a claim to have challenged Sadiq Khan's ULES charge, but when you actually read the legal paper on three points, um, they actually concurred that everything was legitimate and okay up to this point and they were only challenging the expansion of it. So they weren't challenging the Liberty of London. They weren't challenging the Magna Carta. In fact, they were aiding and abetting the current corruption starting in 2002 by Tony Blair and the congestion charge in order to consolidate and thoroughly secure through a covert test case the continuation of these criminal charges in the ULES zone. Because they're criminals, because they want ULES cameras, even if it's not for ULES, to use for surveillance, to use for um, tech spying and AI because they've got no intention to stop the US charge. Oh, look, it's Judge Jonathan Swift, who you... Can I say this, or is it freely available information in the newspapers? Who work for government as a lawyer in their finances. Would that happen to touch upon the finances of the congestion charge? Possibly, you know, and the legality of it. Oh, look, now he's sat judging a case as an impartial lawyer. Did he help build the brickwork and pave the way of the congestion charge as an acting attorney for the government? If so, could that possibly affect his impartiality judging the case between City Khan, the Mayor of London, and the five boroughs challenging the ULES charge? Right? on three points of law, like the Irishman, the Scottishman, um, and Englishman's um, points, which are um, not really legal points, they're just tosh, right? So th this is the problem with these people. We, we, they're grabbing us with these fines. They're grabbing us by the scruff of the neck with these letters, pay, pay, pay. They're getting a, a wedge in your wallet. They're, 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 take, they're demanding money through legal layers of fines and charges and fees, which are illegal. No one's grabbing Rishi Sunak by the scruff of his Winchester um, school shirt or Boris Johnson or Lord Cameron or Tony Blair, the supreme being, Sir Tony Blair, or Nick Clegg, you want to hear a man with glasses? No one's legally metaphorically grabbing them by the scruff of the neck and dragging them into the courtroom and sitting them down on the chair. No judge is going, send him down, take him down. Well, I walk into this courtroom, uh, I, I come here with all my rights intact. Do we have an agreement? Send him down, take him down. No one's dr rinsing them through the um, car leather. No one's rolling them through the car leather like Mr. Sponge and squeezing, squeezing the truth out of them. No one is rinsing them. No one's interrogating them. And even if they were, they'd be lying through their teeth until the truth comes out. These people are pure, corrupt evil, right from the words of the Bill of Rights. Evil judges, ministers, and counsellors. Evil judges, ministers, and counsellors. Evil judges, 
ministers and councillors subverting the liberties of the realm. The great char, the liberty of London, subverting the liberties of the realm with the congestion charge, with the ULES. Evil judges, ministers, councillors, Swift, Blair, Forthrop, Clegg, Cameron, evil ministers, judges, while their Muppets, their, um, Mur- their um, Mad Murdochs and their Jeff Bezoses are bullying us out of the press because that's their prim little newspaper, their tidy little propaganda machine, which is all official, all official opinion, and now no one can afford their... So, you know, kick them on the social... And now they're even taking over social media. Not an official statement. An official statement in the newspaper using political rights. No. The, 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 you know, instead we get the, um, the, the painted framework, the, 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 the Peaky Blinders blinded scam stall, you know, the, the, the charade, you know, the, the fake counter... You know, at the front, because it's a scam. And the truth in the newspaper is mostly tosh and exaggeration. That's the problem. So get the facts and the truth correct instead of continually feeding the lies. There are people in groups now misinformation spreading around like covid you know, misinformation is spreading around, spreading around like a, a cold. You know, people are just, you know, uh, and even when you try and tell them the truth, they can't hear it. 